Nicholas Culpepper was an English herbalist, botanist, physician and astrologer. He was born in Surrey in 1616. He was a great believer in natural herbal remedies and how the universe could be used as a guide to ailments and life decisions. He was brought up by his mother after his father died just before he was born. They eventually moved to live with his grandparents who had some influence in his life and it was both his grandmother and grandfather who first introduced him to the wonders of time, astrology and medicinal herbal plants. He was sent to study theology at Cambridge where he met a wealthy young heiress and fell in love. But tragedy followed. She was killed when her coach was struck by lightning. He naturally was devastated and gave up his study on theology leaving Cambridge behind him. Outraged by his grandson's behaviour, leaving theology in Cambridge, his grandfather arranged a placement with a master apothecary, Daniel White. After five years of working for White, Nicholas met and married a young Alice Field who had a considerable inheritance. This allowed him to open up his own pharmacy and work on his love of herbal medicines in a halfway house, a place where the poor could get help with health problems. It was well known what Culpepper thought of the physicians in London, charging high prices. In his own words, quote, No man deserved to starve to pay an insulting, insolent physician. End quote. He also believed that the use of Latin was not needed and just confused the sick into believing that the medicine was better because of the educated Latin terms. The Society of Apothecaries were not happy with Culpepper's criticisms. He was accused of witchcraft and found himself ostracised and alienated. In 1642, the English Civil War started and Culpepper joined up. He became the field surgeon, although he really wanted to fight. Unfortunately, Culpepper was shot in the chest and returned home. He never fully recovered from this injury but fortunately it didn't kill him. He became known as the healer of the poor because Culpepper collected his medicines from the countryside. He didn't need to charge anything. It was completely free. He was very much a hands-on physician seeing his patients instead of trying to diagnose through looking at urine. He was dedicated to helping people with his knowledge of herbal medicines and astrology. He believed that making medical treatments available for the less fortunate would help educate them 
on how to take good care of themselves and was adamant that healthcare should be available for everyone. Nicholas Culpepper purposely wrote medical self-help books in a way all people could understand, especially the poor and uneducated, who could not afford high medical bills, so they would be able to help themselves. He wrote a book on childbirth to help women and a book called The English Physician that explained different plants and their uses in medicine. This book was sold cheaply, making it affordable for everyone. And it is apparently still in print to this day. He became the foremost astrological botanist. Admittedly a term I found a bit confusing. So I headed back to Google. Apparently, and to try and put it as simply as I can, if a plant, seed, is to be used for medicinal use, they need to be collected at the right time and for the purpose it's intended for. I.e., if it's for a male, it needs to be collected when the sun and moon are aligned and under a male sign such as Sagittarius. Unfortunately, Nicholas contracted tuberculosis at the age of 38, but his wound from the war would exacerbate his illness and Culpepper died in 1654. Thank you very much for watching.